change after change after change. That's everything that's been happening with HubSpot over the last 12 months. Well, we're going to take a look at one of the simpler changes that's currently in beta right now, but it can have a very drastic impact on your user experience. And what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be taking a look at that new in beta navigation menu. Let's check it out. If you're coming into HubSpot and you have not seen a change in your interface, one of the things that you, or you haven't seen where it says try the refresh navigation, one of the first things you'll have to do to find that will be to come across to where your profile is and you come down to where it says product updates. And product updates is HubSpot's specialized space where it gives you a list of all of the things that's either in beta or that's coming like, coming soon or that has actually been made live. So if we click here, it's gonna bring us to this page. From here, what we're then gonna be able to do is are we gonna to go to type in navigate because we're looking for the item which is currently in beta. So we type nav and you will see the refresh navigation. Now, if you wanna have an understanding as to what this means before you get in, um, you will be able to click on it and it will bring out and instructions on everything that's happening or what you should expect. Now there's gonna be a blue button, I'm already in beta, so but there's gonna be a blue button that would say join beta, all right? So you can have it here or you actually have it across to the side. Once you do opt into the beta, what's going to happen is that your screen is now gonna look like this. It's gonna change a little bit. So I'm just gonna carry, carry us across to where the refresh navigation is. So you'll notice that apart from having it up to the top where it was from before, where you would have been able to now click and look at all these particular areas, you now have it across to the side. Now you could minimize this if, you, if you're one who likes things to have, you know, be centralized, have a lot more screen real estate, that's kind of me. But if you notice the trend in other spaces, if you look at what Google has been doing with the sidebars, etc., cetera, um, you know that, that most software developers are going along this particular line. So we have sidebars as being a thing. Nonetheless, so what is this navigation? So it's, sh it's shifted from this and it's now here. So you have your workspace. Your workspace is now gonna carry where your prospecting uh, aspect is within HubSpot. Then you have your CRM. So all of your contacts, companies, deals, etc. List, inbox, and calls. This is now situated here. Before, you would have had a couple of things. So you would have had compact contacts, companies, deals, target accounts, and lists. If you're only looking at your marketing, so your marketing is now down to the side. Web content, it's now listed here, so it's not under marketing, it's now in its own space. Um, commerce, a commerce hub being new, so this has its own space, but it has actually pulled things like products and coats um, away from where it used to be under sales. Um, we look at automations, well, automations is still here, but instead of things like um, uh, chat flows and stuff being under chat flows and surveys being under service and um, uh, conversations, it is now under automations. And this is where you hold sequences and flows because before it was just these two, so now they've added these two here again. Well, reports, pretty straightforward. I don't think there's been any major change here. What I do like too is your library. So again, removing if we were to go back to conversations, you would see where you would have your chat flows. We just said that that's been moved to automations and templates. Well, that now falls under the library. And apart from that, you now have everything else here where you have your files, your documents, etc. cetera, um, that all falls. Documents used to fall under sales before, but now it's under your library, which I think is a nice place to have it, even when it comes to your playlists. Your template marketplace, um, what would that be? Your template marketplace really represents everything that you would have purchased when it comes to putting together your website. Now, I don't really have anything in here, but that can be found here. So your template marketplace, so it's still in two locations. So you still have it across here if you go to your, your marketplace, but if you have already downloaded a theme or a module, etc., this is where you will find those things. And well, of course, you most of us would not see this, but if you are a partner, this is where you will see a partner menu, similar to how it used to be here. So familiarize yourself with it, Check it out in beta. More than likely, most of HubSpot stuff that's in beta eventually becomes live. And the last thing that we want is that you get into your HubSpot portal one morning and it looks totally different. All right. So do the things to learn more about HubSpot. Catch you guys next video. Peace.